in the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing printing pattern programs in C. So, in this video, I will talk about how to print this pattern. We will see the logic first of all this on this whiteboard, then I will show you the output on my laptop. Right now, what is the first thing? Identify the number of rows and number of columns. How many number of rows you want to print here? 5. And which loop is responsible? The outer loop. Generally, we take i, the name of the variable is i. i1, here i value is 2, then 3, then 4, then 5. Right? These are for number of rows. And these are number of columns. J. J is equal to 1, this for 2, then 3, then 4, then 5. Now, let us see how to write down the logic here. First, the outer loop that is i is equal to 1 and i less than equal to 5. That is it. Because it is to print number of lines. Number of lines should be 5. Whenever i value becomes 6, just stop. So, i should be less than equal to 5. That is it. Now, inner loop j. Now, j is equal to 1. And here what should be the condition j less than equal to what? See, when i value is 1, j should be executed only one time. Here, 2 time, 3 time, 4 time and 5 time. Changing, it is changing, right? So, when i value is 1, j is executing only once. i value is 2, j is executing 2, 2 times. When i value is 3, j is executing 3 times. Here, 4 times, 5 times. So, I hope you are able to relate i and j. Right? So, I can put what? J less than equal to i. Whatever the value of i, j should be repeated that time only. Right? J less than equal to i and j plus plus. Now, here what? We will print. C. Now, here obviously it is some integer value. So, percentage d. Now, what? I will print here. I cannot print i. If you print i, we have discussed in previous video. What output you will get? 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4 like this. If you write down here j, then what output you will get? 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Both the patterns we have discussed. Neither i nor j we can print. So, what here I can print? Let us take another variable named number. Any number. Uh, sorry, uh, variable name is number or abc or anything you can take x, y, z. Right? And I am initializing here. Obviously, in the program, I am not writing here the complete program. I will show you the complete program on my laptop. We will initialize i, j and what? A variable number and number I am initializing with 1 because I am going to start, I am going to print the value from 1. If here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this, then we can initialize it with 0. Right? But here I am printing from 1. So, number should be printed here. But at first number is 1, so 1 would be printed. Now next time 2 should be printed, now 3, then 4, then 5, then 6. Means what? Here number should be incremented by 1. After printing number should be incremented because next time incremented value should be printed. So here after printing you can just write down number plus plus. Or you can write down plus plus number, same thing here, right? And that is it for the inner loop. Now in outer loop what slash n. And that is it. Now see the working. i value is 1. 1 less than equal to 5. Yes condition true we will enter into this loop. Now j value is 1. 1 and i value is 1. So 1 less than equal to 1. Yes condition true we will enter here. Number would be printed. Whatever the number. Number is 1. Right. So, 1 would be printed on your computer screen, right. Now, number plus plus, right. Now, number becomes here, see, when the program would be run, then in memory number would be there, that is, the value is 1, right. Now, number plus plus, now this value becomes 2, number plus plus, right. Now, j plus plus, j becomes 2, is 2 less than equal to i? 2 less than equal to 1, no condition is not true. I exit from this inner loop slash n. So, control will be in the next line. Now, i plus plus. Is this condition true? 2 less than equal to 5? Yes, we will again enter into this loop. J will be initialized with 1 again. Now, 1 and i value is now 2. 1 is less than equal to 2. Yes, condition true. We will again enter here and number will be printed. Now, the value of number is 
2 so now 2 would be printed here right and again number plus plus so now number becomes 3 now j plus plus j becomes 2 2 less than equal to 2 yes condition true we will again enter into this loop number would be printed now number is 3 so 3 would be printed now again number plus plus number becomes 4 now again j plus plus j is 3 is 3 less than equal to 2 no exit from this loop now slash n means control will be here i plus plus now i becomes 3 now condition is still true and this process would be repeated again until the outer loop the, this condition is false right so now i hope uh, you got how to print this pattern right now let me show you this output on my computer screen so now let me create another file named pattern 6.c right and i'm going to copy the previous code because it's almost same we have to what change a little bit so no need to write down it is it's you can say uh, saving of our time number of rows okay fine in the loop would be uh, same i less than equal to uh, j less than equal to i j plus plus now what you will print here we are printing what a number here uh, you can say number or any variable name you can take right and let me just declare number because we cannot directly use any variable we have to declare and the uh, what uh, the, the what the value is number is equal to 1 I am initializing with 1 right and let us do number plus plus or you can do uh, plus plus number here both are same and uh, that is it now let me run this see enter number of rows uh, 5 and that is it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and like this now if you run this again for 7 rows or 10 rows whatever number you want to print you can enter suppose I am writing here 7 rows so you are getting 7 rows so now I hope you got how to print this pattern now I will see you in the next video with a new pattern till then bye bye take care